Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the 2012 commencement of Holy Names University. Yes, you did. In a real sense, we've been waiting for you since 1868. And you're right on time. You, our graduates, our students, our classmates, our friends, our sisters, our brothers. Thank you for sharing your incredible energies and talents with us. Thank you for sharing your dreams and ideas for the future. Families and friends, thank you for the incredible support you have given day in and day out. It has made an unbelievable difference. Sisters of the Holy Names, thank you for founding this wondrous institution, giving us your profound set of values and love of the divine in each of us. Faculty and staff, my colleagues, thank you for the superb work that you do every day, burnishing minds into bright jewels, nurturing budding spirits into verdant gardens, lifting up the minds and spirits of us all. Thank you all for being here at this most lovely and unrepeatable moment. Thank you. My pleasure to introduce Joel Schlandler, who is a graduate student receiving a master's in arts and English, the writer's craft. He lives in Alameda, California. Joel will lead us in our invocation. Please stand. Lord, we are gathered here to thank you and ask you to bless us. The time we have spent here was a time of learning. You have taught us that our life is as meaningful as that of any other person on earth, but not more meaningful. You have taught us that we have every right to happiness, yet it is up to us to find it and recognize it. We all have entered this world with certain abilities and various needs. The goal of life is for us to discover those abilities and to use them while fulfilling our needs. Please give us the ability to understand, to be more than just another person, to accomplish all the things we were sent here to do, and to touch the world gently as we pass through it. Help us learn that life is not easy, nor is it permanent. Others will come and go, and often their departure will cause us pain. Help us to learn to develop a positive attitude that can handle life's disappointments. Help us to learn that in order to find love, we must look inside our own hearts. For if we can't find it within ourselves, we will never find it. Help us to give our lives a sense of direction. For life is too fleeting to meander aimlessly and hope by chance to find our goal. We know that we must make sacrifices along our journey to reach our final destination. O oh Lord, we also give you thanks and ask you for your blessing over our friends, families, and teachers who have always been there for us. Make us always work with love and compassion and give us the knowledge that will help make this world a community full of love and gratitude for you. We ask all of this in your name, Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you, Joel. My pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, whom I met two years ago tomorrow but it feels like we've known each other considerably longer than that. 
Gwen Eiffel is both moderator and managing editor of the PBS Washington Week in Review and senior political correspondent for the PBS NewsHour. The format of the NewsHour alone is legendary. A breathtakingly full hour of news and commentary uninterrupted by a single commercial. Some call it the closest thing to the BBC in America. <laughs> You'll find a short biography of Miss Eiffel at the end of your program, and most of what I say will not be found there. <laughs> Gwen and her colleagues at the PBS NewsHour, such as Robert McNeil, Jim Lehrer, Mark Shields, David Brooks, among many others, are among my personal journalistic heroes. Some of them are also Edward R. Murrow, Walter Cronkite, Bill Moyers, Tom Brokaw, Diane Sawyer. In our own time, when a certain ethos of hysterical journalism or historical incantation sometimes passes as journalism, Gwen and her colleagues are a bastion of unperturbed calm and clear logic. They embody the best of the liberal arts. They do their homework, they ask substantial questions, and they're not put off by the evasive answer. And they can argue when they need to with great respect. In an age that all too often pulls down, denigrates, insinuates, and obfuscates, Gwen and a few others inform, empower, and elevate. When Gwen consented to join us here at Holy Names today, I was not prepared. I was stunned by how many sisters of Holy Names announced to me that Gwen was their model of professional leadership. When the definitive history of women leaders in this country is written, I have no doubt that Gwen Eiffel and the Sisters of the Holy Names will figure prominently for their individual and collective accomplishments. <laughs> Gwen, you honor us by your presence with us today. You honor us for three fundamental reasons. First, your ability to find and tell the story has placed you at the highest ranks of your profession as a journalist and an incisive commentator upon American life and politics. Second, you honor us for how you rose from an environment of deep spiritual wealth and aching physical poverty. And you've kept a keen awareness of both of these realities in your life. Third, you honor us in how you model the profound integrity of a woman of color who every day sets the mark higher than the day before and then sets off to accomplish what far too many think is impossible. As a Catholic university, deeply rooted in the liberal arts, profoundly committed to equality and social justice, intensely engaged in educating diverse leaders for today's world, we welcome you, Gwen, with open arms, brimming spirits, and full hearts. Gwen Eiffel. Thank you. I have to say, there will be no commercial interruptions, but I promise not to speak for an hour. I know what this is about, and it ain't me. <laughs> President Hines, thank you so much, and congratulations to my fellow graduates in the class of 2012. Yeah. I will be brief, I will be optimistic, and I hope that you will remember my name in 20 years, or maybe five years, because most people do not remember who spoke at their commencement, so I will not be offended. I'm thrilled to be here with you today. 
nice of you to arrange the weather. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's an honor to be invited to a campus that lives its mission statement. I look into your faces and I know that you are your beliefs and that you practice your beliefs. You practice them from Tutwiler, Mississippi to Lesotho, from Port-au-Prince to New Orleans. You knew there was work to do in the world and you went off to do it. You could have stayed here, you could have studied, you could have enjoyed the view because it is indeed a spectacular view. But as holy name students, you had a higher calling. And as holy name names graduates, we need you now more than ever. There is division, there is misunderstanding, there is financial stress out there. It's an interesting world that you're about to enter. The fact is, you're willing, in any case, to step up and speak, to witness. I love the idea of witnessing, because I think it speaks to what we are doing here and about the lives that you're about to launch. It speaks more about that than anything else. Witnessing, you see, works both ways. You have to see to tell. If you don't see the suffering, if you don't see the stress, the sufferers are rendered invisible. That's what happens when nobody witnesses or is witnessing to misery, to need, to demands. You have been and you will. Now this doesn't make you any better than anybody else, only more enlightened. Often, many of us do not act because we're made nervous. We're made nervous by the idea of the other, anything that seems different or alien to us. So we have to strip that distance away. And once we have, people begin to listen. People begin to hear. And then you can speak. When you arrived at this place, you walked up the central staircase and participated in what Holy Names calls the rite of passage. Today you came back down those stairs and you walked through another passageway. But this time you're leaving prepared for great new things. Half of you are the first in your families to go to college. Your parents and the other people who love you who are here today watching this, they are never more happy than they are right this minute and they are never more relieved. <laughs> You're probably nervous too, and why wouldn't you be? The world is an uncertain place. I do not envy you this job market. Still, I cannot begin to describe how much we are all expecting of you in any case. Here's the difference between what you confront now and what your mothers and fathers did. Your future can be more opportunity than burden, more creative than duty filled, but that will be up to you. It's best to be optimistic, if not downright cheerful about all of this, no matter what you read. Think of how many times along the way here you have been counted out because of your family background, because of your gender, because of your race. And if you are here today, if you made it this far, that means you beat the critics at their own game. Those critics are often the people who tell you things like, the world should be colorblind or gender blind or somehow another way that you should be invisible. Don't let them render you invisible. I am an African American, clearly, an African American woman, but I don't get up every day feeling burdened by any of that. Matter of fact, I consider it an accident of birth and I feel empowered by it. You see, differences among us don't always have to be defined by grievance. It can also be about pride and empathy and humanity, and that there is value in that difference. This is the critical thinking that you have been taught here at Holy Names, how to take what you see and decide for yourself what to do with it, how to act on the expectations that we all have of you and that you have of yourselves. And they are considerable. But there are also expectations you should set for yourselves and for others. You should expect to be treated as equal citizens in all places and all ways. 
Your children should not expect to be inferior. You should all expect that anything is achievable, if not now, then soon. And you should expect to make the world a better place than you found it. You are small, but you are mighty. You can do it. Because leaving Holy Names is about so much more than a degree. As you emerge from the blur of this weekend, graduation parties and finals, not that you party here, I'm sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> and parents are listening, I'm just helping you out here. <laughs> and the caps and the gowns and the relief. You would also be wise to take this time to look inside you and to come to grips with a few home truths. Because if you, all you take away from here is a college education, you may have just missed the point. I'll give you a couple of the truths. Number one, your experience here is only the beginning. You are now officially educated. You are among the elite. You're kind of the 1%, actually. But you're not complete until you acknowledge that it is what is in your soul that will really determine your life's success. Number two, you are called to a mission, sometimes multiple missions. It may be to change the world that's just around us, it may be to change the world in our hometowns or in our families. It may be to fix and to explain and to investigate and to understand. That's what I do for a living. It may be to be a bridge among our many diverse communities. It may be to educate, like the professors and administrators who send you off today. But whatever it is, you have to treat it as a mission, a life's work a responsibility to care about more than yourself, to affect the lives of those around you. You also have to know that you have limitless choices. You're on the cusp of a pretty outstanding life. You can choose to build strong families, raising or helping to raise children, supporting siblings, paying your parents back. <laughs> yeah, they're like going, yeah. <laughs> Honoring your grandparents. You have the responsibility to step forward toward those choices, not lean away from them. Also, I advise you to fix a flawed relationship. You all know someone here today who you're probably not exactly speaking to. Some relative who's been getting on your last nerve. <laughs> some friend you didn't say goodbye to because of some minor understanding you can scarcely recall. Some professor you had a fight with over something or the other some acquaintance who never really believed in you, never believed you would get to where you are today. I advise you to step beyond yourself and whatever resentments you might have, this is the perfect time to make the first call and to fix that relationship today. Also, resolve to cross a barrier. That barrier may be race, it may be gender, it may be class, it may be disability or achievement or education. But use what you now know about potential, the potential to rebuild bridges and to heal with words, to create new relationships where none existed before. It's our only hope for our nation and for our world. I was at a dinner recently where there was a 20-something at the table who was no doubt earning millions of dollars as the head of his own startup firm. He was running on about something he called disruptive innovation. Now, it sounded like a catchphrase to me, and you have to know I hate catchphrases. <laughs> they never seem very sincere, but it got me to thinking, isn't the best innovation by definition disruptive? Doesn't it unsettle? Doesn't it challenge the settled order? Doesn't it carve a new path? And isn't it really hard to do? Yes. But is it worthwhile? Also, yes. Go out there and be disruptive, because the barriers are still there. They still exist. The corners are still dark, and the world is often still resistant to change. But you have a flashlight that Holy Names is equipping you with, and you can shine that light, and it can turn into a beacon. It's a light of understanding. It's a light of social justice, and it's as necessary and as satisfying as anything else you will take from here. Only then, when you've learned how to wield those tools that you've gotten here, only then can your spirits be truly liberated. And that is what Holy Names, in the end, wants for you. I want that too. 
and I want to thank you all for allowing me to be part of your wonderful day and your achievement. God bless you. Good morning. My name is Jim Falaski, and I am blessed to serve you as the chairman of the Board of Trustees at Holy Name University. It is our honor and privilege to bestow upon you this honor for Doctorate of Humane Letters. Welcome to the family. The Durocher Award is named in honor of Marie Rose Durocher, founder of the Sisters of the Holy Names, the community of women religious who began this university in 1868 and who continue to sponsor it with great pride. A recipient of the Durocher Award should be someone who both embodies the spirit and values of Marie Rose Durocher and of the Sisters of the Holy Names for our time and culture, and who has made a significant contribution to the broader community. So what is that Holy Names spirit? What are those Holy Names values? I hope you graduates have felt them in your experience here, because they are part of this institution's lifeblood. The 2007 to 2012 strategic plan for the university articulates them well, and I want to quote them. Holy Names University is a center of rigorous teaching and scholarship in the Catholic intellectual tradition, rooted in the charism of the Sisters of the Holy Names of Jesus and Mary, and committed to these core values. Social justice the full development of each person, the development of critical thinkers and transformation leaders, and the empowerment of a diverse student body for leadership and service in a diverse world. It is my great honor today to introduce this year's recipient of the Durocher Medal, Agnieszka Winkler a distinguished graduate of Holy Names University of the class of 1967. It is also my privilege to tell you just a little bit about this amazing woman. And I do this with a little help from our friends at Google. <laughs> when six young French Canadian Sisters of the Holy Names first set foot on the shores of Lake Merritt 144 years ago, with the mission of bringing the priceless gift of an education to those without access, they couldn't have imagined this computer age of ours. They wouldn't have known what it means to friend someone or to Google someone, how times have changed. If you were to Google Agnieszka Winkler, you would find links like Business Week or 
Forbes.com, rising to the top of the list. On further exploration, you would find these and other descriptive words and phrases used to describe her. Entrepreneur, digital pioneer, author, pilot, and founder of three marketing companies, including the Winkler Groups. You would learn that Agnieszka Winkler was one of the first women in the field of high-tech marketing, and that her agency was one of the first companies to establish a website. You would discover that her site's broadcast was one of the first radio spots on the web. And as CEO of an advertising and marketing company, she presided over a staff that spoke 13 languages and served a bevy of clients. So it's clear that Agnieszka Winkler is truly a distinguished Holy Names alumna, and we are terribly proud of her. But this is not all. In bestowing the Durocher Award on her today, it is true that we honor her accomplishments as an entrepreneur, a business and community leader, and an innovator. But even more importantly, we honor her for the myriad ways in which in all of these achievements and in all of her diverse positions of influence, she has embodied the values for which this university stands. She has carried these values into the healthcare sector through her service as a trustee or director and member of multiple leadership com committees at both Ascension Health and the O'Connor Hospital Foundation. She has empowered women as leaders in business and in life through her membership on the Committee of 200 Foundation with its focus on mentoring, education, and scholarships for women. In her support of the Western Folklife Center, she has worked to enhance the vitality of American life through the experience, understanding, and appreciation of the diverse cultural heritage of the American West. And in her leadership as a trustee at the University of Santa Clara, and as a regent at Holy Names University, she has exemplified and promoted the mission and values of Catholic higher education and sought to make that education accessible to the kind of amazing people whose commencement we celebrate today. We are grateful for and proud of the many ways in which Agnieszka Winkler continues to be an embodiment of and an ambassador par excellence for Holy Names University, for the charism and mission of the Sisters of the Holy Names, and for the core values of social justice, of the full development of each person, of the development of critical thinkers and transformational leaders, and the empowerment of a diverse student body for leadership and service in our diverse world. It is now my honor to invite Agnieszka Winkler HNU class of 1967 to come forward and receive the 2012 Durocher Award. I just want to say thank you, and I'm deeply honored to be a fellow alumnus with all of you. Right. Ojo Little John McNair, president of the senior class. <laughs> is graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in business. He is from Berkeley, California, and Ojo will now introduce our student speakers. Thank you, Dr. Martin. Good morning, President Hines. 
members of the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, administration, esteemed guests, and, member, and members of the graduating class of 2012. Thank you for being here today to celebrate this milestone in all of our lives. This momentous day is a day that we would cherish in our memories for one reason or another. Whether you are moving on to grad school, taking time off, or just anxious to get out into the real world, we all will be taking a part of HNU with us and leaving a part of us behind. Just a quick side note to all you singers, we did it. Today, I would like to introduce our two undergraduate speakers, Anitra McCain and Vanessa Brown. Anitra McCain is receiving a Bachelor of Arts degree in a major in international relations and a minor in international business. Anitra is one of the most active members of HNU. She has attended the SOA Walk in 2008. She was ASHNU's Executive Vice President in 2009-2010. She was then promoted to ASHNU's Executive President for 2010-2011. She was a member of the Model United Nations Club in 2011, and she is a co-founder of the James E. Durbin Entrepreneurship Speaker Series. Immediately upon graduation, Anitra is going to move to San Diego to fulfill a Vice President position at Zone Sports. Zone Sports is a family-owned, athletic uniform manufacturing company. So let's hope the beautiful weather of San Diego brings her luck. <laughs> Vanessa Brown is our adult bachelor degree program speaker. In 1990, Vanessa's attempt at school was postponed when her daughter was identified as deaf with special needs. Thus, she concentrated all of her energy on her daughter, education and medical needs. Instead of taking college courses, she took sign language classes and educated herself on how to become a stronger advocate and case manager of services for her daughter. Vanessa states that years have flown by, but the end result is that she found her passion, her true calling, advocating for those who do not have a voice for themselves, a professional calling she has followed for the past 29 years. Vanessa began attending Holy Names University adult Bachelor's degree, bachelor's degree program in spring 2011. Has, she has made the dean's list for each semester. <laughs> and has been awarded membership in the honor societies of both psychology and sociology. <laughs> like many adult program students, Vanessa reiterates that her accomplishments were possible because of the support she received from her children, family, friends, and coworkers. So without further ado, we welcome Anitra McCain and Vanessa Brown. Thank you, Ojo. Let me find my speech first. All right. Good afternoon, President Hines, members of the Board of Trustees, distinguished guests, regents, faculty, staff, family, and friends. To the graduating class of 2012, I am honored to be in the position to welcome you to the day we have all anticipated. If you are as pumped as I am to be graduating today, give it up for yourself and make some noise. <laughs> the time has finally arrived. Today, we reach the pinnacle in this stage of our lives and approach the opportunities of tomorrow. Our perspectives now shift from the classroom to the world around us. When many of us felt the reality of graduation setting in, our first thought was probably, holy crap, I'm graduating. 
Uh, and suddenly, we found a new appreciation of the experiences we shared with one another. For some, the thought of graduating is frightening. And for others, well, their bags were packed, ready, and waiting. We are moving forward, further defining our life and its unique story. We are told that life after college may be frustrating, hard, and stressful. My response, so was college. <laughs> Yet we sit here today, having overcome the challenges of our academic journey with only the promises of new challenges ahead of us. We face the bad only to develop a stronger appreciation for the good. We find ourselves intertwined in struggle only to enjoy the sweet taste of triumph. Life after college is uncertain, and that is the beauty. Let go of your anxieties and recognize the potential that dwells within you. The best day of your life is the day you decide to make it your own. So do it today and do not apologize for it. We find ourselves, oh, when we find the courage to live without the fear of making mistakes, like I just did, <laughs> or embarrassment, we open ourselves to growth and opportunity. To have what you want, to be the person you want to be, to do what you want with your life, you must make it important to you now. Society won't do us any favors. I mean, seriously, you've all seen the news. Americans are occupying just about anything these days. And um, education has never been more essential. And we should feel proud to be standing where we are today. The point is, we should not waste any time anxiously worrying about our future positions in society. See the brilliance of the position you are in right now. You have the ability to test your limits, take risks, do something foolish, discover, and create. And I warn you, embrace your youth now or be destined for a midlife crisis. <laughs> Always be passionate about everything that you do, just as you are now, and you'll be forever young. The moment you stop enjoying life, even the little things, is the moment that you'll begin to truly grow old. It's easy for me to stand here today and encourage all of us to follow our dreams. And I know it's not that simple. Life tasks will probably force their way into the center of our concerns, whether we like it or not. The next step for many of us is getting financially on our feet. However, we must remember to stay true to ourselves and never lose sight of the things that make us happy. Through all of the ups and downs, no matter what the naysayers tell us, it is essential that we hold on to our visions. Never stop seeking knowledge. We are never stuck. It is our choice to be either complacent or resilient. Let failure only serve as feedback from, from the world. Do not let it slow you down. Simply allow it to show you what you need to learn and then adjust course. Be grateful for the things that you already have and never stop seeing the value in them. The things you possess now are the resources that will help you get to where you want to be. So be happy with what you have and where you are, and allow it to be the foundation of your future. Yesterday, a student, today, a graduate, and tomorrow, well, tomorrow is yours for the taking. Congratulations, class of 2012. I wish you the very best. Wow.
how do I follow that? Give her a round of applause. Okay, sister said she was gonna uh, have this in big type. Woo, it needs to be a little bigger. Okay, good afternoon, President Hines, Sisters of the Holy Names of Jesus, and Mary, faculty, administration, staff, honored guests, family, and friends. Graduating class of 2012, we did it. Look, we are here, we are here. And I would like to thank you for this awesome privilege of being the Holy Names University adult speaker today. As adult program students, we all come back to school with a gender, many obstacles, lots of responsibility, and life experiences. Two of our fellow graduates had babies during the semester and returned back to classes the next week. Yeah, give them a round of applause. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another fellow graduate came to school one evening with three of her four sons in tow. Yeah. Understanding that adult students require flexibility and a supportive learning environment are major strengths of this great university. And on behalf of the adult program students, I would like to say thank you to the administration and to our remarkable instructors. I would like to extend a special hug to Sister Sophia, or Sister <laughs> Sophia, for the love and encouragement. I am humbled by her confidence in my leadership qualities and for her belief in me being able to pursue doctorate studies. Sister Maureen, I will always remember the time we spent on the Tutwiler social justice trip. <laughs> yeah, I remember. We came together, not as instructor and student, but as two women interested in learning about and from each other, I am in awe of your ability to just be. Dr. Prentice, thank you for giving me an outlet for my creativity. The A I received, ah, that was a bonus. <laughs> Dr. Sarno, woo! <laughs> a warm, heartfelt thank you for your guidance. I remember when I had my aha moment. It was when I finally understood what you meant when you wrote on my papers all the time, unpack the sentences. <laughs> you were instructing me that writing for the sciences needed to be concise and compact, and he does this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great lesson and metaphoric for life as it speaks to how important it is to learn to meet the requirements of the subject at hand. One of my favorite quotes written by Vivian Green states, life is not about waiting for the storm to pass, it's about learning how to dance in the rain. <laughs> Class of 2012, we are definitely doing our thing. <laughs> some of us may say, some may say that it's taken us a while, but we learned that everything happens for a reason. No regrets, remember? It's time to celebrate us. I am turning 50 years old this summer. I know, I know, give it up, give it up, <laughs> give it up. <laughs> and my children are grown now. Like me, all of you have made some hard decisions and sacrifices over the past years, and I'm so proud of me, and I'm so proud of us. We have become the quality women and men that we were destined to be. We have learned to hold our heads up high in spite of some major barriers. We have learned the importance of living in the now, learning from the past while continuing our journey for a positive future. We, class of 2012, have stepped to a higher platform and turned up the heat. It's about us, but let's not get it twisted. Let's not be selfish. Remember, it's our duty to share our experiences, knowing the value of such empowerment. No matter what discipline of study we individually chose, collectively, we must strive for equality, for social justice. We must all, we must all find the balance between what was, what is, and what could possibly be. On my journey, I have elevated my standard of what is acceptable while learning not to judge others. 
I have watched many of you reach the same benchmark. Every day as we go forth, we must model and further the mission of the Sisters of Holy Names University to embrace compassion for self and for others. This is our responsibility. Each day, may we awaken with a renewed appreciation for life, for learning, for connection to others, and to a higher power. Hugs and much love to all of you. We can now profess that we know the magnitude of being able to dance in the rain. Class of 2012, please join me. Let's go dancing. <laughs> At this time, Emily Ryan will perform Lyndon Lee by R. Vaughn Williams. She will be accompanied by Daniel Wright. Candidates for degrees will now be presented. We will announce those candidates who are graduating with honors at the bachelor's level. There are three levels of honors based upon the following criteria. Summa cum laude, a minimum cumulative grade point average of 3.85 for all academic work. Magna cum laude, a minimum, minimum cumulative grade point average of 3.7 for all academic work. And cum laude, a minimum cumulative grade point average of 3.5 for all academic work. Following the presentation of the candidates, degrees will be conferred by Dr. William Hines, President of Holy Names University. 
We ask you to hold your applause until all the candidates are presented and the degrees conferred. Dr. Hines, the following candidates have fulfilled the requirements for the baccalaureate degree. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Rachel Lauren Adams. Aziza Nanyamka Anderson. Laurence Regine Baffert. <laughs> Melissa Claire Bitten. Vanessa Nadine Brown. Yeah! Ashley Raquel Bruce. <laughs> Jocelyn L. Bird, magna cum laude. Javon Deanne Bird. <laughs> Carla Lorraine Carbajal. Nicole Danielle Castronova. Trina A. Chambers. Hannah Marie Chartier. Jasmine Marie Chavez. Oscar Kroisty, summa cum laude. Kestrel Amber Coulomb. Shane Connor. Ronnie Rochelle Narvez Cordova. Leticia E. Colson. Maria Cristina Cruz, magna cum laude. Fernando Diaz Mendoza. Brenda Dimas. Erica Janice Duke. Stephen Michael Edmond. Ronell Ellis. Catherine Elizabeth Encolada. Kimberly Joe Ayrton. Michelle Fernandez Fenta, summa cum laude. Nafazi Brini Farrell, cum laude. Wendely Ferrufino, magna cum laude. Austin M. Fink. Tim Lannon Ford. Lele Forgan. Anne Lorraine Gattenby. Taylor Ashley Utidra Gordon. <laughs> Cheyenne Christine Hamby. <laughs> Marina Jimenez Hammergren. <laughs> Jamie Victor Hannon. <laughs> Christiana Catherine Hargrave. Katharina Hargrave. Crystal Francis Harrison. Sarah Annabel Holly Snow, summa cum laude. Jesus Hernandez. Kiera Tenille Herndon. Haley Christine Hill. James Jacob Holway. Maria, Christina Maria Huff, summa cum laude. Martha Iniguez. Shira Deanne Jackson.
Alexandria Nicole Jacobs, magna cum laude. Darren Johnson. Douglas C. Jones, Jr. Nicholas Daniel Kalustian. Yodit Coco Kelete. Ashawn Anthony Kelly. Shinol Lakshman, cum laude. Ojo Littlejohn McNair. Fabienne Ortiz Lopez. Maribel Lopez. Adrian Luna. Thomas Matthew Martin Lupton, cum laude. Martine Maestretti. <laughs> Chanel Lehu Amakanoa Maglungit. <laughs> Sabel Michelle McGuire. <laughs> Nigene Marie Mansour, cum laude. <laughs> Rachel Marie Martinez. Anitra McCain. Christina Merle McWhorter, cum laude. Deneen Ann Medina. Danielle Lynn Miller. Diashla Valencia Miller. Nicole Solida Milano. Ashley Simone Nash. Taylor Elizabeth Newman. Jamil Nisbet. And Ghazi and Kenke. Brittany Lee North, magna cum laude. Jennifer Elizabeth Padilla. Lacey Antoinette Perotti, magna cum laude. Amanda Marie Pellegrino. Brittany Ann Perez, magna cum laude. Vanessa Isabel Perez. <laughs> Tiffany Pitcher. Ruth S. Perchlick. Shayla Chauvin Rigmaiden. James Anthony Rodriguez. Jessica Teresa Rojas Esparza, cum laude. Bita Sedegi. Angelica Christine Samaron. David Maurice Scott. Zachary J. Sawitsky. Alexander Franklin Singh, cum laude. Desiree Michelle Stewart. Jonas David Street. Caitlin Patricia Stutz. Kendra Renee Thompson. Christina Renee Turner. 
Patrick J. Turner. Mary Cecilia Turowski. Leslie Nicole Fodiska, summa cum laude. Brittany Ann Voorhees. Jocelyn Denise Ware. Liam Shaban Wahab Whelan. Shay Adim Wahab Whelan. Joelle Kimberly White. Shanika S. Williams. Matthias W. Wold. Tony Wong. Obi Leander Woods III. Rabia Williams Yamazawa. Maria D. Yanez. For the degree of Bachelor of Science, Fao Luina. Afuala. Marquis Danielle Benavides, magna cum laude. Kayla Marie Coleman. Samantha K. Fisher. Colin Lewis Harper. Donica Lynn Machado Potestio. Ashley Elizabeth Nickel, magna cum laude. Monique Bridget Reyes. Roberto Jose Zaveos. Rebecca L. Rodriguez, who is receiving both a Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Arts degree. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Rosie Benaventura Apura. <laughs> Sylvia A. Bochi Dakwa. <laughs> Teresa Marie Grove. <laughs> Catherine Gandolfo Kylie. Veronica Beverly Panchu, magna cum laude. Sharmila Sigdal. Will the candidates for bachelor's degrees please rise for the conferring of your degree? By the virtue of the authority bestowed upon me by the Board of Trustees of Holy Names University, it's my privilege to confer upon each candidate here the baccalaureate degree earned with all the honors, privileges, and responsibilities thereof. You may now move your tassel from the right to the left side to signify us. My privilege to introduce Sister Carol Selman, Vice President for Mission and Effectiveness, who will present the Founders Medal. You may be seated.
In 1958, the faculty of Holy Names University established the Founders Medal Award to honor a graduating senior who had demonstrated unusual leadership at the university. Although leadership can be demonstrated in a variety of ways, it has to be such to lead us to think, this is an admirable person whose acquaintance has enriched the lives of those who have been privileged to know him or her. This year's recipient of the Founders Medal is undoubtedly that kind of person. This student has been a leader in several areas on campus and has been described as someone who handles responsibility with professionalism and commitment. This person creates programs for other students that are innovative, fun, and intellectually stimulating. Our recipient embodies the radical hospitality, charism, and generosity of the Sisters of the Holy Names and was described by a professor as a courageous, creative, joyful, and deeply contemplative individual who makes this professor want to be a better teacher. A gifted and natural leader who has passionately given back to Holy Names University, the Holy Names University community, which has supported her growth for the past four years, this person has served the campus community as a peer mentor, a member of the O team, a resident assistant, and a fundraiser par excellence, helping to organize, among other events, a coat drive, a canned food drive, the swim for the cure team, and Relay for Life. By now, you have probably guessed that the university proudly bestows this year's Founders Medal on Christina Huff. Dr. Beth Martin will now present the Fontana Award. In 2001, the faculty of Holy Names University established the Fontana Award to honor a graduating senior from the adult baccalaureate degree program who had demonstrated unusual leadership at the university. This award is named in memory of Kathy Ann Fontana, an alumna from the class of 1961 who implemented the development of the Weekend College in 1980. This year's recipient of the Fontana Award is undoubtedly that kind of person. As an adult returning student, this person is known as an excellent student who participated strongly in class discussions, wrote outstanding papers, supported the other students in the program, and completed an exemplary one-of-a-kind final project. In addition to classroom work, the recipient made a truly significant contribution to Holy Names University through her prodigious work on behalf of the Pastoral Ministries Program, traveling through the state as the Partnership Program Administrator. This involved attending meetings with local bishops and diocesan ministry boards, recruiting potential students, and singing the praises of Holy Names University at conference and ministry-related meetings. The student embodies the vision and mission of the Holy Name Sisters, and her generous, generous dedication to service of others is emblemized by her regular habit of driving Sister June Kearney from Alameda so she can continue her wonderful presence at Holy Names and regular visits to Sister Margaret Campbell at Los Gatos. For this and many other reasons, the university proudly bestows the 2012 Fontana Award on Mary Tarowski.
candidates for master's degrees will now be presented. For the degree of Master of Arts in Counseling Psychology, Leslie Agnew Watson. Aisha Bridget Augustine Kemporathy, Charles Ferraro Garcia, Michael A. Kotefka, Jonna Michelle Hall, Alicia Viesa Keith Queen. Rashina Christine Martin. Yanika Shakow. Irene Laternas Velasco. For the degree of Master of Arts Forensic Psychology, Kimberly M. Calderero. Richard R. Westfall. For the dual Master of Arts degrees in Counseling Psychology and Forensic Psychology, Danielle Elise Milburn. For the degree of Master of Arts in Culture and Spirituality, Victor Gabrielli Augustson. Stephen D. Blackwell. Bello Miguel Cipriani. Carla Renee Cravanis. Laura May Culver. Mary Christine Francis. Nicole Ashley Harmon. Christiana Essie Johnson. Keith Joseph Rivers. Deborah Jane Rafter. Nadia Khalil Tauji. <laughs> Stephanie Siobhan Timms. For the degree of Master of Arts in English, the Writer's Craft, Bacola Louise Adishakan. <laughs> Tiffany Nicole Rocket. Joel Andrew Schlater. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, M. Regina Alcomandras. Clara Marie Bernard. Mustafa Chalik. Maya Guest. Ignacia N. Humphrey. Eleonora Joanna Marie Jefferson. Lori Darinette Kendall. Jeffrey Ryan Moy. Jamil Mushel. Kenya Latoya Puse. Jada Elise Roseman. Melody Simmons Hudson. 
Sarita Dupree Tier. Yeah. Jennifer Isaac Valenzuela. For the degree of Master of Education. Opale Cecily Duggins. Irma Famins Wilson. Ashley Brooke Foster. Dorian Lee Laird. Ruth Elizabeth Linton. Sean Patrick Palmer. Jennifer Rose Perkins. Jennifer is also receiving the credential in multiple subjects, and Sean also received the credential in single subject. Annie Pham is also receiving certificate in educational therapy. Tanya Nicole Roberts. Joanna Wallace is also receiving a certificate in educational therapy. For the degree of Master of Music Piano Pedagogy, Lu Peng. For the degree of Master of Music, Music Education with Kodai Emphasis, Amanda Manuela Poon. Emily Joyce Ryan. Daniel Patrick Wright. For the degree of Master of Science in Nursing, Maria Isabel Beza. Robin Kathleen Dalton. Sabrina Ann Finkley Strickland. Lynn Fontana. Lillian Harris. Karen Patrice Harrison. Ruby Nicole Harrison. Caroline Elizabeth Huddert. Jacqueline Jamora. Deborah D. Jordan. Sandra Ann Kreisenbeck. Needy Kumar. Veronica Malari. Davina Masaquel Santiago. Alphonsuis Menkafor. Vanessa De La Cruz Naval. Gretchen Torrijos Santos. Shuri Lawrence Stagg. Diana Nicole Striffler. Lily L. Tam. Armine Tenko Tayag. Veronica Ihuoma Uba. Shadi Bakili. Janice Vertudez. Kareen Jean Wolak. Jomo Victor Yumbi. For graduate certificates and credentials, the Certificate in Educational Therapy, Catherine Marion Kelso Novak. Credential in Multiple Subjects, Jeanette Grace Mangila Acosta. 
Maria Cristina Aquilera. Colleen Elizabeth Boston. Erin Kathleen Lundy. Tracy Angela Mui. Will the candidates for master's degrees please rise for the conferring of your degree? By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Holy Names University, it's my privilege to confer upon each candidate here the master's degree earned with all the honors, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining to thereon. This is the class of 2012. I'm pleased to present Sister Kathleen Hilton, a member of the U.S. Ontario Province Leadership Team, we're pleased that Sister Kathleen will be leading us in the final blessing. I invite all gathered to extend your hands in blessing over our graduating students. Gracious and loving God, we pray your blessings upon each of today's graduates. Graduates, our prayer is that you rejoice in your many accomplishments that have brought you to this day and appreciate what you have learned from the achievements that required more than one attempt. May you, as li a lifelong learner, remain rooted in the values of this institution, striving for the full development of your spiritual and intellectual potential, acting justly, and contributing thoughtful expertise and passionate care to the family civic, and worship communities to which you belong. We offer our fervent prayers for you today in thanksgiving and in hope in the names of Jesus, Mary, and Blessed Marie Rose. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Kathleen. Following the ceremony, you're all invited to join us in the public market at the top of the campus for the reception. Please remain in your places until the academic procession has recessed. Thank you.